Eight, seven, six, four. The classic risk mentality is failure is not an option. That's uh, a fantastic motto from the Apollo era. However, when you engineer systems and when you build and fly systems, failure is actually a fact. It happens. So how do you construct a system to be able to handle those failures? So here at MXL, we focus on a particular spacecraft type. It's called a CubeSat. Uh, and it's a cube and it's a satellite. It's fairly straightforward and it's fairly simple. Can you take a mission, put it inside this box? If you can put it inside this box, you can get access to space. If you get access to space, you can test it. And uh, we can really push the state of the art in these CubeSats because we do get access to space. Uh, we can then take that technology and some missions like we built here are fundamental science missions which do fundamental measurements and advance the state of the art. Uh, we also do technology demonstration missions which prove the technology on orbit that we can then roll that into future spacecraft to do bigger and better things. So RAX stands for the Radio Aurora Explorer. Uh, RAX-2 is the second satellite in the mission. So it's a CubeSat. It's currently on orbit. It launched last October. CubeSats are enabling the universities to experiment on our capability to push the state of the art, and that's going to push out into all of the space industry. We've proven with spacecraft like RAX that we can actually do science with these spacecraft. When CubeSats started, hey, they're cool, they're educational. Some of them aren't really particularly useful, though. You know, they go up and maybe transmit a basic beacon, or they might take pictures. But really, what's the scientific impact of them? And that's what RAX has really demonstrated. Our first experiment was back in March, and we've already published some initial analysis of that um, in peer-reviewed science papers. So RAX is a nice platform for improving design techniques, improving data analysis techniques, and we'll share that information with the community in the form of peer-reviewed journals. Our spacecraft is fully contained inside a box, so the rocket folks really find that attractive. CubeSats in general have been on a variety of different rockets, from the Japanese, to the Indians, to the Russians, to the Americans, and to the Europeans. So pretty much everybody that's launching a rocket has had these CubeSats go on, on orbit. In many ways, CubeSats are sparking innovation that hasn't been seen in a very long time. So just like the internet allows us to deploy businesses, allows us to launch new code, brings people together. Uh, these spacecraft, these CubeSats, in many ways are, are providing that type of innovation and that type of access as well too.